Why don't you give me a sign? This is Corinna Jane. That leaves a trail along that shore. It's not your problem, it's mine. With her brand new single, Give Me a Sign. As featured on BBC Introducing. It's just the way it's gotta be. Corinna Jane, give me a sign. Out now. Is that your promise, man? My husband took the boat out on the lake. He took a, a handgun that I didn't even know that we owned, and. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. Uh, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm all right. How are you, Jonathan? Yeah, I'm doing really well, man. So, yeah, the night house looks amazing, by the way. Thank you. That's all right. So, I was watching the trailer, and uh, a lot of it is about this the mystery of this house. And it reminded me a lot of 13 Ghosts, because 13 Ghosts had this mysterious um, house as well that looked very interesting. Um, did you want it? Did, yeah, how long did the process take to look for the house that you wanted for the movie? We found it very fast. You know, um, independent films come together quickly sometimes. And uh, so I think we landed in upstate New York. Uh, we knew we wanted to shoot on the Finger Lakes. We had to find a house, I think, in three weeks. Uh, so the, the house that's in the movie was a lucky left turn with myself and the producer Keith Levine. Uh, we stumbled on it. The owner lived out of state. Uh, we then had to find them, hunt them down, convince them to let us shoot a movie in their house. And uh, uh, and then we built uh, several uh, rooms of the house on stage as well. So we actually added to the house and expanded it in some ways. But we fell in love with a view um, over the lake. Uh, it was really just, uh, just an astonishing spot to shoot a movie. No, that's great because it really does set the uh, very dark um, sort of uh, mystery uh, of the movie itself, which I, which I really liked. Um, Rebecca Hall looks amazing in this movie, but she also looks a lot like Shelley Duvall. And I was thinking, was that kind of, was that kind of deliberate uh, when you were casting or was it, were, you, or were you looking to uh, specifically cast Rebecca Hall for this movie or was there a casting process that you went through? No, I mean, I think, uh... No, I think it was just, look, if you're a filmmaker like myself and uh, you're lucky enough to have Rebecca Hall respond <laughs> to the script when you send it, um, we, you know, I think everybody in our team knew that she would be incredible in the role. And we're just very, very lucky that she took an interest in the material. And, uh, you know, Beth's character is very different than Shelley Duvall's character in The Shining. And Beth is um, confrontational and uh, very, very frank and quite funny. And uh, um, she's at times in the film running towards what's scary when the rest of us would turn and flee. Um, so it's an interesting dynamic that's quite unique to the material, I think. Mm, that's good. Um, yeah. did, what challenges did you face filming this movie that you uh, hadn't faced before in any of your previous projects like Southbound, Creepshow, and so on? Yeah, I think... Uh, I think one thing with this, we knew there, uh, we dealt a lot with negative space. So um, there are some events in the film that appear in the absence of what you see that uh, had a kind of optical illusion component to it. So um, technically that was quite tricky and required a lot of experimentation, but, um, but we did a lot of those beats on set for real. So there are places that you can walk through the house where if you look in the right direction at the right moment, you might see something that you would rather not see. Did you research any particular movies um, before you started doing The Night House? Or did you watch any like Twilight Zone episodes or anything TV or movie related specifically before you started this project? I think our primary um, inspiration for this uh, came out of um, first a recognition of the turn of the screw and something like the innocence you know um, and then um, the uh, the book house of leaves uh, mark danzelewski uh, great horror novel i think it's the spirit of geography horror and changing spaces was something that 
I would always love to do as a filmmaker. And so I think early conversations with myself and Ben Collins and with Petrowski, the writers who were even years ago were just like, this stuff is amazing. We, you know, this doesn't find its way into the genre enough. Fantastic. Um, what, and do you have any future projects coming up um, after this? We're working on a reboot of uh, Hellraiser. Oh, Green fantastic. Country. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, best of luck with that, man. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Looking forward to seeing the movie. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. Safe from what? the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels. It's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.